Greetings, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Today we're going to go take a step back in time. This is a uh, 1997 Ford F-150 XLT pickup that I started six years ago. So we're going to go through some of the assembly pictures that I t actually took back then. Uh, looks like, according to the file date, 2016. So we're going to just kind of flip through the pictures and then do a little conversating. Because the uh, upcoming video after this, we will be painting, making a windshield. Because it's that far along, it just needs the cab and the bed painted. The interior, chassis, and all that's all done. I just need to paint two things. Well, and a hood. So that'd be three, right? <laughs> Anyhow. Of course, you know, there we're starting with the frame. And looks like we're sorting it all out, and there's the bottom of the bed. I don't know what's up with the paint colors, I don't remember. This is kind of like an unboxing, but in reverse. <laughs> oh, I think that's just paper that I had painted on. That's probably what that is. Because I'm getting ready to... Uh, we're putting pieces, bits and pieces together on the chassis. Hmm, that's what I probably should have used for a mock-up for my uh, 55 Ford. <laughs> Here it looks like we're primering and primering, whichever word those we use. And putting some paint on there, it looks like there's some 34 or 32 or 30 something Ford parts in there. Because like today, I, I still work on <laughs> Four things at once. Well, it looks like the, the the box has got a bunch of stuff in it. Looks like it's all glued up on two picks as well. That's what I normally do. I think I, yeah, I think it has primer on it. It's actually a pretty clean body. I uh, went to uh, Spotlight Hobbies and I bought a built kit already put together so I could get the uh, windshield out of it. But it's such a nice truck, I just popped the windshield out so I could make one for this truck because somewhere along the line I lost it. You know, even though the box lid's on it, stuff just disappears out of the boxes. Here we're mocking up some uh, different exhaust system we're making. I don't like the single exhaust. So I went through my junk boxes and I found bits and pieces from different kits, mufflers, ex exhaust tips, and using sprue to make my own exhaust. I'm using the forward section of the exhaust, the hooks of the engine, and then from there back I'm making all new. And why, trust me, winding that around down around that rear end was something else. <laughs> uh, it looks like a plumber's nightmare, doesn't it? But we got it around there. 
don't remember what those glass packs come out of, but they came out of something. You see her where I like pieced it all together. The uh, big problem was the spare tire. If I didn't put the spare tire on it, I wouldn't have had to go through all that rigmarole. And if I went back towards the uh, clip and around, that would probably have been a little better choice. Hindsight. 50-50. Or 20-20. 20-20. Hey. 50% of the time it works all the time. So it looks like we got paint on there. Yep. Exhaust, exhaust is painted. Uh, it looks like silver, most likely. The interiors, I think, is black. L looks like shocks, maybe. Rear end, and my puppy's whining, and I'm yawning. <laughs> Whoa, what a mess. Uh, looks like we're painting gas tanks and things there. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like a 34 bed. And 97 stuff. Yeah. And yes, I still have that flashlight. So there's the engine complete setting in the chassis. Except for the top. Breather. That has to go on last. After you put the truck together. There she's on, on her wheels. And that's the way she's sitting in the box right now. And there's the interior. Well, there will be some different pictures of it. So seeing how the interior is black and red, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to paint it. Mm, I'm leaning towards a metallic blue, but I'm not sure yet. Because I did buy some. Should go okay with the black and red, I guess. Did a little walk up. I like those exhaust tips coming out there. And that's it. Looks like we're back to the beginning. Yep. So I want to thank you for watching this little walk down memory lane on starting the... Uh, 97X150 Ford XLT. Get back to you uh, as we get ready to paint it because it's already primed and ready to go. I sanded it down the other day and she's all ready. So stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching. Remember, be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you're going to see them again. On behalf of Mr. Tip and Miss Wednesday, <laughs> night night all.